in retrofitting existing existing buildings. That's something that is extremely difficult to do. Uh, the 361 is designed or is has been established from the premise that if you do it per the 361 guidelines, then you're going to have what they deem as near absolute protection. Nobody can guarantee that absolutely nobody's going to get hurt, so they've coined the phrase near absolute. When you go into an existing building that could be concrete, that could be, that from the outside could look like it's a shelter, the problem you have is you don't know how it was constructed. More than likely special inspections weren't done. What is the actual reinforcing in that wall? There's all those unknowns that really make it hard to say if you go into that space you're going to be have near absolute protection. You know, we can replace some windows with some type of protective. Uh, we can replace the doors with protective doors. But can we guarantee that all the connections, you know, the connection between the floor and the wall and the wall and the roof and the walls and the walls, that all those are strong enough to withstand that? We might be able to reverse engineer it, but in the end, do we know exactly how it was built? We maybe even have the existing drawings that shows us how it was designed, but was it actually built that way? And that always is a concern to me. Now, we do tell owners that, you know, we can do this, but we're not going to tell you that it follows 361 or the ICC 500 because I can't tell you how it was constructed. So we can't use the term near absolute protection. Will it give them some protection? Possibly. But we just can't use that term. So we really try to shy away from retrofitting as much as we can. It doesn't do a lot of good to put you know, a, a FEMA door or one that complies to the ICC 500 in a wall that's going to fall down around it. it just that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, so there are very few, and I have seen very, very few situations that I would feel comfortable going in and retrofitting as a designer.